Hey YouTube, this is Southern Purple One. I need your help. I uh, want to use this. My buddy took the end of a fork from his machine and he smacked the bottom and cracked it good. Um, so I can seal it up, but probably not good enough for water. I could get a plastic welder, but not going to do that. Um, this one's pretty strong because it's ribbed. I don't think it's, well, I, I'm sure it's not an underground one because uh, they're made a little different. But it's a stronger one than mine. I have a 1600 gallon tank like this and I have straight sides, not the rib like you see here. But I'm going to use it for something. I need your help. I got uh, a couple ideas. One is, first of all, fighting position or a bunker. I could cut a door in it. Very easy to do. We've done a lot of steel tanks and I could definitely cut, cut a door put the hinges on and make it where I could get in easier. There is a top on it where I could crawl through the top, but I could literally put it in the side and make it so it's so much easier to get in. So uh, I could put this in the woods, put it where I can use it for a fighting position or bunker. I could sandbag the outside. I could actually put some sandbags on the inside. I can cut windows in it, uh, slits in it, and I can take plexiglass because it's will bend on the, that radius that's on the side and I could just pre-drill everything and bolt plexiglass to make windows uh, I could leave some sections out so I could actually have a firing port I could turn it into a hunting blind basically be the same thing as the fighting position bunker uh, I could paint it camouflage it so I have that option I got an option as a cache I could dig into a side of a hill and Put it into the side of the hill can't totally bury it but i can do one side two three feet coming up easy no problem camouflage it camo net do a really good job camouflaging it i could cut a door in it and use it for a camping shelter out in the woods um, so if we go we don't have to set up a tent we'd have this already there and be ready to go put windows in it with plexiglass um I could use it here as you know a supply depot just extra storage space I could put it here and turn it into a little living quarter for a single person or maybe a married couple because I mean it's the equivalent of a medium-sized tent plus it's waterproof it's stronger uh, you can make it bug proof rat proof so much better or I could divide it and cut it into three sections and make three raised beds about 21 22 inches tall Maybe a little taller than that. The thing is seven foot, six inches across. Seven foot, six inches across. And it's six foot, two inches tall. So I could stand up in it. So I need to know, what are you guys leaning to? Um, I'm really not leaning to cutting up into raised beds. It'd make great raised beds. But I can make raised beds out of other things. I think this is more useful um, for a cache, a storage. Let me show it to you. been sitting in the woods it's a little dirty it was sitting on the side you can tell and leaves had fallen in it uh, I got some good compost growing on right there so halfway there right there's the crack is bulging a little bit because I'm on the gravel driveway but I can totally fix that so that's waterproof in the sense water is not gonna come up um, I got two vents so I could put a vent in it so if you're sleeping in there it could exhaust some of the condensation from your breath um, I mean I could enter and go in here that'd be fine for a storage or a cache where you're not going to get in and out but I'm truly thinking about cutting I've cut tons of metal so you cut it cut this side first put your hinges on bolt the hinges on and then finish cutting the rest and then the door is perfect fit uh, you can bolt a door stop on it Putting some windows in here would be so easy. Just cutting across, getting a piece of plastic glass. It's very flexible and it will just fit here. Drill it, put nuts and bolts on it, and then silicone it. Uh, could do a lot of things. Put a camo tarp. I could camouflage it with paint. What do you guys think? I uh, would love to know. It has a drain in it, so I could incorporate the drain. It, if, it's not going to leak, but I could. Uh, use two by fours and set the bottom floor three and a half inches four inches off the actual ground and make it warmer and that way if I do have any moisture problems um, it will sit under the floor 
and I have access to this drain, uh, I could open that up and drain it. So there's a lot of possibilities. Please give me your feedback before I start cutting on this thing. Thanks for watching.